Hello everyone, uh, greetings. Welcome you all at IES Masters YouTube channel. My dear students, I am very happy to introduce Nandan who have secured All India Rank 12 in ESC 2024. First of all, I wanted to congratulate Nandan. Many, many congratulations for this achievement. This is a remarkable achievement. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, Nandan, today's main goal for this inspirational session is to guide our future aspirants, those who are preparing for ESC and GATE for 2025. So first of all, I would ask to you, what is your family background and what is your educational background? Give a glance over that. Yes, sir. Sir, I basically belong to Andhra Pradesh in uh, Rajamundry city. So uh, my family background is like my father expired in 2018 and my mother is a government servant in handlooms and textiles department. I did my graduation in private college, sir, in my, st in my state itself, Gayatri Vidya Parshit College in 2021. Then I prepared for the gate for one year. In 2022, uh, after writing the prelims for the first time, I secured all in, uh, about 210, 220 marks. Then I realized, okay, if possible, I can able to clear this exam. So then I uh, I'm started preparation for the engineering services from 2022, sir. Okay, great. Nandan, my first question is that, what was the moment when you came to know that you are selected and your rank is AIR 12 in ESC 2024? And who was the first person whom you informed that you are selected in ESC 2024? Uh, actually, I was on the return way to my training room. Uh, uh, my friend actually messaged me from my daily friend has messaged me. Congratulations, brother. You have secured All India Rank 12. Then I didn't believe it first. Uh, firstly, then I checked. Uh, then I opened the PDF itself. Then I saw my name. Then I firstly called to my mom. I just shared this news. She was very happy with that news. And even I too was unbelievable, sir. Now you think that life is different? Yes, sir. It's it's like unpredictable, sir. Now, I will repeat this question. Actually, there is disturbance. Uh, do yes, you sir. feel that uh, uh, now life is different? Yes, sir. It's like suddenly amazing. From actually, I was selected through ESC 2023, but I but the rank was 71. But this time, it's almost close to a single digit rank. So I feel more happy compared to last time. More excited, sir. Great, great. Nandan, uh, my important question is that how you were stay focused and from where you got motivation for your preparation? And you know that ESC preparation is a challenging preparation. Now, ESC yes, is sir. a challenging exam to crack for any aspirants. Those who are preparing for engineering services examination, they wanted to know that how you, you were focused and how you maintain that I have to crack this exam? Sir, firstly, like uh, consistency is the main thing in this exam because it's a three tier examination, which can in includes of prelims, means as well as interview. So, mostly our focus is of prelims and means itself because interview is like a, uh, we can't predict how the panel is going to be. Uh, but prelims and means is in our hands. So, firstly, consistency is the main key. So we need to prepare continuously and uh, uh, go thorough with the test series and PYQs is the main key for this examination, sir. It will be more helpful for the students. Okay, uh, you know that as we in the classroom as a faculty, we always tell our the students that uh, preparing short notes, you know, yes, and sir. for revision that would be very helpful. What about your yes, ask about this? Yes, the short notes is like uh, simplified notes of all the subjects. So we are making a 12 subjects into a like a half uh, half notebook. So it generally not only helpful for that, the last moment we keep on revising daily for the short notes itself. At least daily one hour, at least for one subject. Not kind of completing a subject, at least some part of the subject if you revise the short note thoroughly. So we can able to memorize the formulas daily and we can able to uh, memorize the uh, key points of the theory. So it will be helpful in sorting out the options and uh, uh, making easy for the examination, sir. 
Exactly. One more thing as we know that for a decent life, everyone need a strict routine. Could you tell me about the your study routine in 24 hours? How you managed your preparation and time with the physical health, with the mental health, all your strict schedule for, especially for study? Oh, uh, during my timetable, the morning, I think for two to three hours, I used to allocate for the GS part, sir. The early means of uh, approximately from November, December, January, I used to allocate for the GS part because morning times make me, uh, make me uh, to memorize the more and more theory part. So I used to allocate morning two to three hours for GS part. Then uh, from that, 10, from 10 onwards, night up to eight o'clock, approximately six to seven hours, I used to allocate for the technical point of view, like uh, solving the numericals and revising the short notes itself. So this is my study plan. Approximately, I used to study eight to 10 hours per day. Great, great. Actually, uh, mostly students, uh, whenever we ask this question, students, someone say that 10 hours, 12 hours. So ESC needs at least 10 hours in a day. Yes, sir. No? Okay, but uh, consistently, if we go for the eight hours, that would be more helpful then. Then more than fluctuating hours, like one day, 12 hours, one day, six hours, that doesn't make any sense. Like going for eight hours continuously, it's to make a good sense of preparation, sir. And in uh, preparation, what is the importance yes, of test series and how was the helpful our test series for you? I mean to say, IES master's test series, what is your experience about this? So first thing, uh, the test series would be quite tougher than the actual UPSC exam. So in order to first, we will increase the accuracy itself. And uh, second, the speed will be also increased. During the first time uh, when we wrote the test series, like uh, we could not able to solve in the prelims like more than 100 questions. But at the ending stage, when we came, uh, we can able to compete like up to 130, 140 questions. So we can increase the speed and accuracy. It means silly mistakes can be reduced with the help of test series, with the help of only test series. Because by solving the PYQs, we can able to memorize the uh, important points, but where we are committing the mistakes, that is the only key to reduce the, to increase the marks in the exam, main exam. That can be helpful with the test series, sir. Good, good. Acha, yeah, mom, tell me that. What is the major difference between the preparation from the prelims and preparation for the mains? When you qualified for uh, prelims, and then what were your strategy for mains? Uh, share about that and also share the yeah. interview experience. So in prelims, there is like uh, two papers, like one is GS and one is technical. Yeah. GS is somewhat related to like uh, uh, that is not aware in the BTEC range. So it is a different part we need to learn ex ex uh, exceptionally. So that is one of the different thing and a hard thing for the prelims itself. So in the prelims paper to the technical paper is mostly consist of objective, which is mostly of in ESC theoretical 50% and numerical 50%. So we need to back up with the, both these things. So, sir, and the, and the prelims part, we don't have a calculator. First and foremost, we need to solve with the pen itself. So uh, we need to at least have somewhat what range the answer should be because in the ESC exam, we need to guess the answer range. So that is the most important thing for the prelims. Sir, in the mains, only thing was I feel that how much more we need to attempt with the accuracy. That is the matter. Because uh, initially in the test series part also, I could not able to attempt more than three questions. But later on, uh, by changing the pen itself and uh, by improvising which uh, question, uh, method of selection of questions also plays the important game in the mains test series. Because out of eight questions, we need to attempt five. Sometimes I feel like uh, selecting the wrong questions also uh, make me to lose the marks. So initially first I used to take time for at least five to 10 minutes. So I select the questions which I was more confident on it. So I would, I would, I would like to attempt those main questions. Great, great. Nandan, Nandan, we know that the ESC preparation is always need a specific preparation, but there is a drawback for the future aspirants that single plan doesn't work for all aspirants. Everyone has their unique preparation strategy, but most yes. of the things are in common. So our future yes. aspirant can relate with you. I have one important question about PYQs. What is the major yes. role of solving PYQs in ESC examination? 
previous year questions like uh, uh, we can able to find how the trend of ups is giving the exam means how the ups is framing the exam and questions and how options are being uh, given by the ups so that we can able to eliminate how we need to eliminate the options we can learn in the pyq itself and uh, we can also we should also learn the uh, like uh, which option is suitable for the means uh, for a given question there would be a particular answer but we need to learn remaining three options what would, what would be the possible question for these three uh, options so by this uh, we can able to acquire more and more knowledge and most of the if we solve the pyqs for most of the times we can able to see so similar sort of questions at least 15 to 30 questions of same similar sort of questions in the actual exam so that the time can be saved for that those questions so pyqs plays a pyqs and, and as well as test series both plays a vital role for the esc exam sir great great have you appeared for gate also Sir, yes, sir. In 2023, I appeared for the gate, but in 2024, I didn't appear because I was already selected in ESC 2023, so I was not able to. What was the performance at that time in gate? Then ESC, then at this time. So in gate 2023, I was secured All India rank 35. In okay. ESC is uh, 2023, I was able to secure All India rank 71. In this attempt, All India rank 12. Sir, yes, sir. you have All India rank 12. now my question yes. is that come to my question my question is that what is the difference between preparation strategy in gate and uh, preparation strategy in esc were you able uh, yeah, to gate. determine that now i i don't have to prepare gate because most of the candidates prepare for gate as well as esc you know they are confused how to manage these two preparation first of all tell me that what is the key difference between these two preparations so uh, the mostly the gate is about a uh, numerical type of problems and in gate the framing of the question is quite tricky maybe we know everyone knows the answer but they will uh, they will question in, in such a way that student may commit the mistakes in a silly manner so the the, uh, the amount of syllabus is in both gate and es is almost similar but i feel gate was tricky question but es was like uh, easy questions but the problem is the time constraint will be in the esc that is I the only difference i feel between uh, uh, exactly conventional exactly. as well as prelims also the time will be somewhat constrained in the esc exactly we always uh, tell the students that gate always ask intuitive question they ask yes, mind blowing conceptual question ab ye aapko exam ke bahar nikalte aisa laga oh my god i did the mistake hai na but uh, yes, esc ha huh, esc ask conventional question nandan my yes, next sir. question is that uh, you wanted to say something about this preparation some key points some points which need to be clear to the future aspirants any message to the future aspirants so first of all uh, i suggest that go thorough with the notes itself uh, because notes is a combine it's a combination of many textbook that was given by our faculty and with that notes uh, so try to solve the pyq as well as the problems which are taught in the class then with that we if we able to make a short notes that would be much useful for the test series as well as final exam this is the process and i i personally believe the theory subject should be studied at morning slot so that it will be memorized for a long time and uh, at least daily revision of short notes is necessary for making a consistent preparation sir uh, nandan i have few questions uh one yes, thing tell me that how did you came to know about the ias master we are working sir. since 2011 how you uh, know about the ias master yes sir so my friend told that that So my friend told that the test series will be good, uh, very good in the IS Masters, and moreover, the uh, amount of questions will be also high, and the number of tests will be in a uh, high manner. So I thought, okay, I'll write the test series, uh, and I started the writing the test series in 2023, and uh, for GATE as well as ESC. uh I, i used to get a uh, very less marks in the initial phase so i feel very difficult that test series was but later on i felt okay solving these kind of questions make me uh, to solve easily in the actual exam so i had continuously gone with the uh, test series itself so great great one more question uh, nanandan uh, during the preparation there are two yes, types of study which have to be yes, synced sir. one is those subjects which has been already completed second one yes sir going to prepare na which subject already have been completed 
that requires revision how you manage the time in for conceptual development and for the revision sir actually uh, in the completed subjects i used to keep after this lot of lunch so that i might feel slight drowsy so i could able to manage with the completed subjects but remaining time which was i was available with uh, like 9 to 12 slot and 6 to 9 slot uh, in the evening so i used to manage with the new subjects so i used to learn the new concepts uh, in these times itself mostly uh, so and morning time i used to revise the short notes and uh, probably this is my most of the time table i had in my esc preparation sir okay uh, nandan after giving your interview session what was your experience mm-hmm. and uh, at that time uh, were you feeling that yes i will be selected in esc 2024 or not Uh, frankly speaking after the mains exam i thought i could able to clear the this exam but this time my interview was not that that much good as expected as last year because most of the panel members like uh, frankly speaking they test my patience itself uh, so i thought uh, actually when i came from the upsc building i thought i i told to my friend that i could i won't be qualified this year for sure because i won't get even 100 marks in the interview i thought like that but uh, he he called me and he said that are you your rank was 12 uh, finally i was happy with that sir but see the god grace is that now you secured yes. air 12 nandan one more yes, important sir. question what is your future goals so currently like i am in quantitative surveyor i'll be promoted as idsc sir if prob if things goes well probably i can write next year for railways if not if time does not permits i cannot write because my time table is almost from 8:30 to 6:30 this training is going on so there is no time left for me to study so i need to t- i need to think wisely so actually my friends here are saying just take a resignation and prepare for the railways they are completely against to my decision because i will be in department now they are saying no just take the resignation and go for preparation once again i'll i'll decide within one month sir whether great 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 one last question wanted to uh, say something about your family first of all uh, tell about uh, in uh, about your family how how many brothers sisters and could you wanted to say some thing to your family or relatives about the success because you know the family is backbone of the any candidate family is the yes, backbone right. friends are backbone the relatives are backbone i don't know much more about you but you you tell about that so actually from the past 2 3 years my family is supporting in a high manner that uh, even though i get depression they my mom used to say don't get depressed you, you, you try whatever you want but uh, um, don't uh, don't uh, keep your best don't expect the results if uh, if your uh, uh, if your preparation is uh, 100% genuine then definitely god will bless you so i just believe in that uh, words and uh, i i just go thorough with the preparation sir uh, that's it and uh, my relatives also are very supportive in that in that manner so i feel blessed having that family sir great great thanks a lot nandan giving us time on the behalf of whole is master team i wanted to again congratulate you for this remarkable achievement my dear have a great Thank future you, ahead wish you a very endeavoring and great future ahead thank you sir thank, thank you, you so much